Alright boys, welcome to the second channel, DLPTS. We're doing a little team. Nando's mock buy. We've got the whole team, got the whole team here. Everyone's here for once. We've got the editor East here, right here. We've got the cameraman, hey. Nathan, over there. How are you two doing? Mm. You alright? Mm. Not bad. Alright, let's not see. too shabby. Okay, well we're going to have a little bit of Nando's. We're going to have a little How convenient! Oh. Nando's. Let's all go to the Isle of Fernando's. Shut up, mate. Here's your fork and knife. Here's yours. Here's yours. And here's mine. Right, who has got the spicy rice? Me. Who's got creamy mash? Me. Creamy mash? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Thank you. Uh, we've got mash. here a... Your mum's going to be creamy mash if you're not careful. Side of chips. Who's got chips? I'm yeah, yeah. yeah. Who got a medium butterfly burger? Are you okay? Oh, uh, i got medium. Down and hard butterfly. Yeah. What the fuck? What? You are a brown human being, you're having lemon and herb. No, but I put chilli sauce on it. Oh yeah, where's chilli sauce in? Um, Nowhere to be fucking seen. Do you get chicken wrap as well? I got chicken and wrap. With halloumi cheese. Yes. Well, there you go, there's yours, buddy. Yes. Fucking hair on me. Yeah, it's, it's called your head. Your hair? Yeah. And your food? No. Oh, cheers, bro. On your head? Yeah. Oh, fuck! What? It just looks so lame. Should we all um, see what we've got? Nah. Glass of wine here, celebrating. Why are we celebrating, boys? Um, In it, like why we actually celebrating? It's Friday. We're going to work today. Well, it is Friday. It's but it's Snowy day. Joe's final, final time to fuck around. As you know, he's on the Misfits now. Yes. Well, I don't think they do know that because I don't know if it's confirmed yet. But fuck it, we'll say it anyway. We don't know for certain. It's not 100 percent certain yet because there's only get the final say. And if they see my old videos, it could be raps. But <laughs> well, I got a message from a guy uh, who works on oh, Misfits. Fuck. I was fucking talking there, mate. Shut up and talk. Anyway, we've got a guy from where he works at Misfits and uh... Shut up and talk. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Joe. Now, you know what? This isn't a celebratory meal anymore. I don't like any of you lot. Well done, Joe! Wow. 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 You know what? I am proud of you. So I might, I might be on Misfits, so this is my last drink, the last time I eat bad food before the training starts. You didn't have a dodgy sleep last night after the 2am meetup. Oh, mate. Oh, should we talk about the 2am meetup? No, we should. I think it genuinely needs a diagnosis. What we do in our house, right? So we're all editing. Sometimes we're not even editing, we're sleeping. We all agree to wake up at 2am and meet up. And when I say meet up, stand in our door, look at each other, mm, and then we go back to bed at 2.01. Well. We sometimes go back to bed at 2 no. What happened last time? So obviously East was staying round. He was editing the dropouts video. Mm. Nathan wasn't here. He was away. Met up at 2 a.m. And it ended up as a quarter to four bedtime. Yes. Yeah. Forced bedtime. In the middle of the night. And what happened at 2 a.m.? Someone refused to close the door, which resulted in you two not closing your doors. Before you know it, there's toilet roll all around the house. There's a hockey club that's been thrown over the house, landed on Joe's car. Joe's now pissed off. We're all fighting Joe. And your slipper got thrown into the neighbor's garden. And yours got thrown onto the roof. And genuinely, what went through your mind when you threw the golf club up in the air? I was like, I'm landing on my car. I need to throw something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, knew, I knew it was his, so I loved it. And I thought it was going to get stuck, but I came down and smacked your car. Were you drunk? No, that was the bad thing. We were completely no, sober. Wait, Joe, how did you allow that? How did you allow that? I didn't know he was going to throw it, bro. I don't, I don't see someone. So did it hit the car? Yeah. It hit his car. Did not break the car. No. no. That's the reality of the drop outside. That's what happens at 2 a.m. in here, mate. To be fair, big up with Frank for not breaking. We're actually sorted. We're fucking done a, a month and a half. Wait, what? We're a month ahead on videos. And our landlord doesn't like us. Big up to our landlord who watched our YouTube because they came in and uh, saw the plaque. They're not watching this one, surely. Bro, we don't they, they sucked to the Patreon. Do you think moving out, is it, did it match your expectations? Moving out, what did you think it would be mm. like? This, <clears throat> 2 a.m. meetups. Constantly working. That was the dream. <laughs> Blood dreams of 2 a.m. meetups. To be okay. honest, yeah, we have been busy this week. Oh, mate, yeah. We have, bro. We've done so much, man. And we're sorted. We're fucking sorted. That's bro. the most we've ever done because, like, we've always been across the country from each other. So it's never really been possible to do yeah. this much work in a week. Well, we'd only see East, like, four times a year. Mm. You know, we'd, we'd see each other once a week. So we'd have to, we'd have, yeah, we'd have to travel. But now we can, like, you know, wake up to each other in the morning. Considering yesterday we woke up at four o'clock in the afternoon. It was yeah. dark. I don't think Nathan saw the light. Yeah, no, I didn't. I woke up, yeah, I literally went to sleep. When I it didn't see it. It started getting a bit light in the morning, but that's about it. So you, have, you didn't see full on light? No, no. Matt, it was like 24 hours in the dark. Typical day in the drama. Sounds like a Mr. Beast video. 48. 42. <laughs> How is that a Mr. Beast video? 42 hours in the dark. No, oh, mate, we're making a mess. Mate, what bang video? No, oh, don't put your bums in my fucking food. I'm bums bums a bit of lettuce. Just oh, thanks, mate. Are you obsessed with potatoes? I saw you eat. Yeah. You do. Who's the worst cook in this house? You. I honestly don't think that's true. I was going to say you. What? No, we'll do a vote. We'll do a vote. All right? I'm cool. saying ramps. Hmm. 
What do you mean? Hmm. I haven't actually cooked that much, you know. Yeah, but you're not a bad cook. Try I think we can all agree I'm, I'm the best. Right. Only because you overdo it. You put all this fucking sauce. Yeah, you I overdo you've it. It's the nicest fucking food there. He has said, I'm giving up seasoning. Yeah. Right? So that goes against him, mark against him. Nathan you can cook without just, seasoning. Nathan cooks pesto pasta, that's it. Joe has got better, but at the start, you were cooking chicken and you went around touching everything with chicken hands. Uh, and did, did, anyone, did anyone get ill? Uh, yeah. fair, I had raw chicken. I had raw chicken on like the third day here and I didn't get ill. Weird flex, mate. It's a myth, mate. One thing that is a myth. I've never had food poisoning from raw chicken and I've cooked chicken bad. Look, I don't understand chicken. It's such a waste of fucking time. It doesn't make sense. You don't We're even all need to do Nando's. Yeah. What do you want about? <laughs> That's chicken a very good point, East. You know what pissed me off about you eating that the most? Yeah, at home, if I was hungry, I can just get your mum. Click your hands and boom, chicken on the table. Here you've got to make it. Get your mum. Bro just clicked his fingers and went, Mum, make me food. <laughs> what are you looking at, Aiden? Hey, what's going on? Premier sauce. Why are you looking at it so intrigued? I'd love to talk, but I'm so hungry. Okay, we never actually went through the worst cook. Pretty it's you, mate. Um, We're just kind of scared to tell you because you're going to kick off. It's you. I think it's, uh, uh, you've asked for more help, to be honest. Oh, shit. You said, how do I cook a pizza? How do you cook a pizza? You put it in the oven, mate. But I know now. You've got to ask questions to learn. So no oh, shame in that. doesn't want to cook pizza at the age of 19. Oh, I'm struggling to cut this chicken. I can't lie, the Nando's is dry. Mmm. It's, it's not a good Nando's, is it? Nah. It's not as good when you buy takeaway, is it? Nah, it's not, mate. There's nothing I love going into the... Wait, last time we went into a restaurant with these lot, East threw the fucking salt and pepper on his face. It Ooh. was actually Angel Delight. I remember that. You know what I love about us? No matter where we go, we're always the most retarded people there. Oh, yeah. We went to Spoons the other night and uh, cooked out. I don't think we told them what happened. We got kicked out. I think Nathan should explain this. Oh, yeah. Nathan, yeah. explain yeah. your point of view. Basically, I was just trying to have fun, and then they were like, no. <laughs> have fun? No, mm. it's true. No, it's not true. No one smashes a glass on the floor. It was fun, though. Everyone had fun. He said it was his best night, uh, best night of food. Me? No, it was me. Oh. I remember seeing you outside no. throwing a sandbag into spoons as retaliation because you were so out. And I thought so you had to right? back it up. Yeah, I was very, um. What's on my face? Oh, I fucking do. Controversial opinion. Oh, no. no. Peri peri sauce is a bit dead. Not that controversial, mate. And I um, disagree. Nah, it's not dead. I mean, it's nothing special, it just makes it a bit nice. DRP, this is where it's at. 25k by the end of the year, that's your job. Fucking do it. Tell everyone you know. Alright? <laughs> mate, this fucking box is this shit. Chicken is so hard to this break. Is this why me and Nathan got a wrap? My guy, bro. Right. But I thought so I, that's not why you got a wrap. What was your guys' parents' reaction to when we moved out? Hang on a second. <laughs> Oh. Bro, my react, my parents' reaction to uh, me moving out were not happy, but they, uh, as soon as I said I'm moving out, they turned my room into a guest room. Right. Illusion right there. So expect that, explain that to me. Like, they not love me. Are they actually sad? Yeah. No, they are sad. It's like, I'm the first one in it, like, I'm the, old, I'm the oldest. Yeah. So they never expect stuff. Like, imagine, like, when you're a parent with, with like, like, your kids and your first kid moves out. Yeah. You're gonna be sad in it. Yeah, we've got heat, wouldn't it? It depends on the kid, but I'm um, Snowy Jay was a lovely man. <laughs> it depends <laughs> on the kid. So you're gonna no, say that your kids aren't gonna be no, good when they're raised. Because if they're like 28 and they're moving out, you probably want them to be brother. Oh, that'll be my brother. But he works at John Lewis though, my brother's doing well at John Lewis, he's doing actually decent. He's one of the best salesmen there. Yeah, but he's also got one of the worst track records in terms of family members visiting the store. Oh yeah, the same. <laughs> The same story works out when you got banned from. Yeah, that was the dumbest idea. What did they ask him? They said, do you know this person? And he went, yeah, it's my brother. And they went, yeah, we thought so. <laughs> and the thing is though, <laughs> that video isn't even on YouTube anymore because we had to take, we had to take it down because the private school went. The whole video? No, just this segment in John Lewis. So what are they yapping about? Oh, this was before that though, isn't it? Uh, this was in, this was in bloody February, this. Bloody hell, That was the same day I asked Jay to be my girlfriend. That's sick, mate. Yeah. That's so romantic. That's I so know, cool. isn't it? I literally got kicked out of John Lewis, snitched on Cameron Brandt, and then asked my girlfriend. <laughs> what a day, what a week. My life is so sick. Like, I'm playing bogeys in libraries while my girlfriend has like client meetings. <laughs> 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 deep, deep how weird our job is. Like, we're always in like a strange scenario. Today, for example, we were jumping around in a circle on a Zoom call. Oh yeah. We made the police round as well. Yeah, we had the police round today, asking about something that's nothing to do with us. Last night, we were at the McDonald's drive-thru until 7am during laps. No. Uh, there's literally never a normal day. There's never a normal moment in our YouTube channel, which I love. We can watch back when we're 80 years old and be like, oh my god. Yeah. We did that shit. It's, it's like, it's like TV, literally baby. like a TV show. Mm. Deep it. We had like a 50-year-old man we went in the library around our house for dinner. You know, this when you put this on is the biggest man. difference. This is the biggest difference from my house and this house, is that 
You don't have 50 rolls around for dinner. No, there's never a bland moment. In my house, I sat there sometimes, I was bored. Yeah. In here, there's always something going. You've got him playing GTA on the sofa with his pyjamas, you come watching him for a bit. John's going around tomorrow. Even in the night, I'm not bored. Are you fucking kidding me? What? The amount of times we've, we, we laid on the carpet. No, that was, that, okay. The sofas. Okay, okay. We laid okay. on the carpet because we were so bored. And there was this week, to... last week, we spent a whole night complaining about our area because there's nothing to do. The area is shit. But the house is top though. The house is nice. But the house, the house doesn't belong in the area, that's the thing. Yeah. When I go to people I live in this area, right, they go, ugh, but we never go to the area. We never go there. This house is like, it's like our own little place. And it's like, it's a fucking it's like beautiful a getaway. View. It looks like an apartment, but it's not, it's a house. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bro. East, what do you reckon, mate? What do you reckon on the move? Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. It's <laughs> good, isn't it? It won't meet 21 Morris Road. That's a historical monument. If you're ever in Southampton, go visit 21 oh, Morris that. Road. It is a challenge, right? We're allowed to do this fucking with dropouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock on 21 Morris Road. What's the postcode? SO152BS. SO152BS. Southampton. South Southampton. 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 Southampton, 21 Morris Road, and just be like, hello. And uh, film. Film it. It's just film them, random residents. Do a Mizzy, mate. Yeah, if you yeah. want to see who's living in the old house, yeah. that is an OG house. And it's a it's a monument, you know. If, you, if you're a big fan of the channel, you can go and touch the same wall. You can go sit in the same bin that Nathan's at in. Did you see that TikTok I sent you about that newly house being refurbished, right? And they thought it was the old dropout house. Yeah. All the comments. How yeah, bad is that? But like, the the what Morris Road looks like 90% of the houses in the UK. But the thing is, though, the thing that's crazy is that people are calling it the old dropout house when it was not even a dropout house. It was his house. Oh, was you, his just, house. you just visited. We just filmed oh, that yeah, a lot. But this is the first dropout house. Yeah. We wanted to do this years ago, but we couldn't. But yeah. we're doing it now. Wait. What is <laughs> No, it's cool, because when, when you're like 14, 15, you're watching Sidemen, fucking yeah. Team 10, if you're a bit like, Retarded. Team 10. Um, Nathan loved Team 10. Yeah, 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 exactly retarded. Um, yeah, exactly. It's every day, bro. And you're looking at their houses and you're like, oh, that'd be sick. Yeah. It's mad though, isn't it? Like, did you ever think when you were little that you were going to live in a pot? I did. Bro, I thought it was going to be a pot. Really? Did. Yeah, but did you actually know that you were? Yeah. I knew. Yes. John gave me a psychic reading, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Did you ever get close to getting a job other than YouTube? I was a lifeguard, mate. And a bully referee. No. No, no, fuck off. I'm not no, having this. Up. No, no I'm not that. having this, all right? You lot, you lot take the piss about my refereeing. You got football boots thrown at you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd, like to, I'd like to see you try it, Mr. Five Foot Four, you fucking pussy. It was, I was refereeing a cup game, and I already, I planned uh, a day out with Nando's. Right, with the lads beforehand, literally. This is an ironic story, is what I'm saying. What, with Nando's, or you going with your friends? I was going with the Nando's chain. Oh. Yeah, we we're going to have a date together. Me and Nando's. Oh wow. Yeah, crazy isn't it. What's going on? <sighs> what happened there? Yeah, what happened there? It was Nathan's neurons having no. a break. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck my story. We're doing Nathan's neurons right now. We're doing Nathan's neurons. Right, basically we're doing a podcast soon, which is coming soon, guys, coming very soon in the Let's do a little trial like, studio. Right? This is a trial <laughs> one, okay? We did it before on the pay on the Patreon, we did Nathan's Neurons on the Patreon, so sub to the Patreon, link in the description. Now Nathan's Neurons is when we give them a, a scenario. And we get Nathan's perspective and shit like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, History thoughts. Okay. Bear in mind, Nathan is not the most, the, the sharpest tool in the shed. Okay, Nathan, you are a chef, okay? And a person has complained to you that this steak is too raw. When they asked for a, well a, a medium rare, they asked for a medium rare, but oh, it's lower than a medium rare. And they're saying it's too, it's too raw. That's not raised. It's too raw. And mm -hmm. they're fuming at you, Nathan. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, how do you deal with that? First of all, I'd have to examine the steak. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so you made it though, so it's all your fault. Nah, because like, the thing is, yeah, they could be lying if you're trying to get a refund. Oh, they could, yes. Yeah, they could I'm be so getting a refund. Yes, you're right. I would um, grab their steak. Yes. And I would take a bite and I'd just be like, examine it. You would, you would take, you a, take bite a bite out of their food. food. But you're the chef, bro. Wouldn't that give you bad ratings? What, in front of them? Nah, because the chef always has to taste their food. You know, to make sure it's all right. Like, what? no, I think they've what? everything you've ordered in a restaurant has a little bite to it. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? So that Nando's you just had had like, little, little teeth marks in it. Because a chef always has to taste his food. Did you not know this? No, bro, you're chatting. Bro, you're, just, you're, like, no, you're chatting. You're telling me you order an ice cream? Yes. Yes. No, they don't taste your ice cream. They taste the um, ice cream that, like that comes out of the machine. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's facts. Yeah, when you're cooking, yeah, you eat a bit. But like you, chicken you, butterfly, I had. Yeah, but you yeah. Don't, no, no, they, they don't go. Mmm, that's rapsis. Or mmm, no, they do. No, okay. they, no, they don't. No, he's dragging me back in and then losing. No, it. No, they don't. 
you Yes, they do. So if you ever had a cake no, in no, a no, restaurant no. and a slice is always right. gone. The reason you can't tell is because basically, so they take a bite, obviously, give it a taste, obviously. chew it, etc. Then they spit it out and they put it in a mold and then they recreate right. the same right. shaped food. Bro, is it pottery or a fucking kitchen? This is those stupid. Okay, Nathan, okay, back to you. Let's just let him speak. No, what, what do you let's do? Let's not let him speak. What do you do? What do you do? Okay? He's such Wait, a, what did he even <laughs> Such an idiot. <sighs> so they got the, the, yeah, the, so the so complaint. Yeah, so I'm checking their steak, making yeah. sure it's all good. Is it actually or are they lying? I thought, do you, mate? Do you think they're lying? What do you reckon, mate? I think they're lying. lying. Uh, uh, oh, honestly, God. honestly, just get a fucking, like, oh, grow a pair of balls. Okay, like, that's a woman. Me. Fucking easy. Uh, no, no, no. But you can't okay. get food poisoning from me. You can't get salmonella from red meat. Yeah, but what happened to the, that? Didn't enjoy. You're, you have to make the customer. Yeah, fuck fucking it. fuck off then. Go somewhere else. Yeah, but you can't make the customer. Okay, then what are you going to say to us? What what you, you, you chose to come here and order my food, and now you're telling me it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I don't agree with that they take a bite out of everyone's steak bit. I agree with the out. <laughs> it's a good point. Yeah, you come to my fucking kitchen telling me how to cook my food. Yeah, why do you come here? Yeah. Why, why, why don't you make it yourself, you fucking fat bitch? Well, I, I, I think, think there should be a scenario fat. here. I reckon someone should be the woman. So she's giving fat. their meat to Nick. Whoa, giving their. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, I think you should be the woman fucking then. Go on. Oh, I'm the woman. So you're the chef here. Yeah? I'm coming up with one, one raw steak. Um, this, is, this is who we've. <clears throat> It should work for us. Just bear that in mind, right? Oh, right. Yeah. He hello. Oh, mate. My. Hello? My steak. <laughs> <laughs> Your face time. <laughs> Delayed me. <laughs> Are you the head chef? Yes. Yes. Well, this fucking steak is uh, too raw in the middle. It's too, too red. It's red. It's bleeding. Blood. It's on its menopause. <sighs> Are you communicating okay. via Gmail? Like, hurry up, why is it taking so long? So, can I have a replacement steak? Nice, yeah, Nathan. No. <laughs> what the fuck? I paid £95 for this steak. £95 of my die. grandma's ashes. Well, then you were buying me Oh, <laughs> right. Is it, we're, we're not getting anywhere. Well, who says grandma's ashes? Yeah, I meant grandma's fund, death fund. Why are you put, why are you taking a. What are you doing? It's about that in half a glass. You absolute, you are an absolute. It's like, you know what? Let's go, let's carry on, let's carry on. I can't lie right. about that. Anyway, one. moving on from steak. Yeah, moving on from Nathan's neurons. Um, no, you cut our address off your face. Bro, well, I don't understand, like, generally, is there something missing with you? I honestly think he's undiagnosed or something. No, he's no. Right. Can, we, can we diagnose Nathan right now? He never in here. Can we well, diagnose? Can I just say, every morning, in primary school, yeah, before I started lessons, I'd have to do this thing called sensory circuits. <clears throat> I'd have to go into the, the assembly hall, bounce on trampolines, throw bean bags with all the autistic kids. <laughs> <laughs> what an old bus! Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you right, so no, the history. Right, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And he's just diagnosed himself. So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have diagnosed yourself with some sort of condition, which we are going to talk about right now. See, I might have something. No, no, no. You, you do have something. Do. You do. This is where we're gonna. Um, we're gonna be your therapist, okay? Okay. Nice. So he's vaping with a paper bag. Yeah, I think everyone has a bit of autism, right? Yeah. But this, this guy. No, is it autism though? Or is it genuinely like he has no Hansen social though. awareness? Oh. <laughs> Like, look at him. That's all. Look at this guy. He's a lost cause. This is our cameraman. Now, Nathan, please talk to me through your day <laughs> and through the bag. It's so stupid. Through my day. What do you feel through the day when you wake up? Well, I wake up. Yeah. Through my day. You wake up. Then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Really let's do. Let's base it off today. What happened today? What time did you wake up? I don't know. I just can't remember. You woke up. You woke up at uh, twelve. We're going to 12, there you go, there you have it. Okay, that's not the end of the story, bro. Then what? <laughs> when, did you go, when did you go to sleep? When did I go to sleep? He's not asleep five. yet. Half five. You went to bed at half five, <clears> went, <throat> went, broke up at 12, so you had... Do you know what I was doing? What? Writing a book. What? No, you, you were writing. There's no way. <laughs> well, a diary. No, a book. And what's, what? what's your book about? <clears throat> about the Bible, conspiracy theories, etc. And what, what's one of those conspiracy theories that we can talk about right now? I'm actually curious. Um, I haven't written any about conspiracies yet. <laughs> okay. I'll do a brief history on the Bible first. Right, okay. The brief history on the Bible, which everyone knows about, because it's in the Bible, right? Yep. So thank God Nathan Egan's writing the Bible. <laughs> Man is rewriting the Bible. <laughs> is that not plagiarist? Thank you, Nathan, for that note. <laughs> so once you rewrite the Bible, and you know everyone now knows what's going on with the Bible, thanks to you, Nathan Egan, <laughs> what are some of the conspiracies which you can talk about? Go on. What is a... 
Good one. It's your book. Oh, mate. I thought that was. Oh, I thought that was good. Oh, I let's know. talk about Israel and Palestine. Oh, no, Israel. no. What is the conspiracy there in Israel v Palestine? What's your, All right, what's so your what do you think? Is what do you? Think I can't quite there? remember the guy's name. There's a man. Yes. <laughs> Who lived in the 1800s, okay? Can't remember his name. Alright, so this man, yes, so he was a that. Freemason. He was very, very high up in the Freemasonry. And he wrote a document book or whatever. Uh, can't remember the date, but it was in the uh, late 1800s, okay? Alright. Now, in this book, <laughs> he wrote about. He wrote about World War One, World War Two, and World War Three. Yes. Before they happened. Before they happened. And they World came, War Three. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they came to pass. And guess what? World War Three. He he said that they are going to cause Jesus, yeah. some disagreements between Israel and Middle East, Palestine, whatever. Fuck! So we're in World War Three now. Yeah, bro. He, he bro, they, they, bro. It's written already. It's written already. Written in the stars. Mm. And this is how they're going to bring about their Luciferian agenda, bro. which consists the devil, of what? The devil, the demon. So Lucifer. you're saying what we're, that out? Of? we're in World War Three? No. We're, it no, we're not, the beginning. Like, it's the beginning. If you believe this guy, he or, says it starts with Israel and Palestine. Yeah. What does it say after that? Well, we'll freeze. He's basically yeah. they're gonna like cause some conflict between them and, and basically um yeah basically yeah. they're gonna cause conflict between them and there's gonna start <laughs> well, three. Just about three times. <laughs> what are you but, but, about? but he, he yeah yeah he predicted <laughs> he predicted the um he predicted one and two and they came true. Right. Are we all gonna die? Um. Yeah. Eventually. No, yeah. I, obviously, I mean eventually, but because of World War Three, are we all gonna die? Um, I can't hide. If we do, then what's the point of this video? Hopefully. I can't lie, that's spicy. Well, you're not going to be in the video. Like, like, genuinely, yeah. like, what do we do all day? We're so useless. We're sitting here eating Nando's. We should be out there in the trenches, mashing work. It won't be trenches anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? And World War Three, which would be nuclear bombs. Yeah, we should be in the trenches. <laughs> no, no, you two are involved. retarded. No, we're not. We're yes, you are. We wouldn't be in trenches for the World War Three. Oh, you really sided with the guy who's wearing a paper hat for 10 minutes? Yes. Well, that, well, 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 that just well, says well. everything, doesn't it? Thank you for <clears> letting <throat> me know. Well, we finished the food now, so that's the end of the month, bang, guys. Um, but more stuff like this on the podcast coming in the new year. Subscribe. See you in a bit.